Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you a very special application using our Raspberry Pi board. I'm talking about flight tracking. I'll be using these Air, AirNav systems flight stick for ADS-B signals. This very nice uh, dongle connects through USB port and uh, can uh, get the radio signals we need for our experiment. Before we start, let me remind you, you can subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to get notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Now, let's do it! Ok, let's start by uh, having a look at the bill of materials. I'll be using a Raspberry Pi 4 unit with 4GB of RAM, a power supply, the official one for this board, one unit of the Radar Box 24 ADS-B flight stick provided by AirNav, 15 meters of coaxial cable, AirCell 5, one ADS-B antenna that I have already uh, installed in my roof, one micro SD card with uh, 16 gigabytes in this case, 8 gigabytes or more will be enough, one micro HDMI to HDMI cable so I can have video to show you all the details and one USB keyboard. So before I take care of the Raspberry Pi let me give you a little bit uh, of my antenna install in the roof of my place. You can see the antenna and coaxial cables, antenna already mounted at the mast, some details about this install, a detail about the coaxial cable I had to uh, isolate for the weather and finally the antenna already installed at the roof so I can have a, a nice range. Okay, let's install the image in our micro SD card. I will install the light version in my SD card of the Raspberry Pi OS. Let me put my password and let's wait until the card is completely written. This can take a few minutes but I have fast forward for you so we don't spend too much time with this. Okay, process complete. Let's move on. Now, you can see the hardware. I have the Raspberry Pi here with me with all the sockets, USB, Ethernet, the card socket and power and video. So, this is the, the dongle provided by AirNav, the flight stick for ADS-B signals with USB port and the SMA antenna port. You will need the antenna installed outside for a nice range. Okay, so let's insert the card in the slot so we can boot the operating system. In the USB port, I will connect my USB keyboard dongle, the wireless keyboard I usually use, and I will connect the dongle in the USB port just like that. So now I need to provide some cables to this setup. First one will be the coaxial cable for my unit. As you can see, coaxial cable. This is a, a small pigtail using RJ316 coaxial model. Now the video, HDMI, and finally, the power cable, USB-C connector. And we are ready. Let's check power. We have already power in our dongle and the main power here with the uh, red LED. System is already booting. Let's move on to the operating system. System is now booting for the first time. Let's uh, complete the boot process so you can uh, see what we need to do in order to install the software also provided by AirNav systems. 
you can visit uh, radarbox24.com to check more details. So I will use uh, sudo raspi minus config to, to configure my wireless LAN uh, uh, interface. So you go here to the wireless LAN. Let me choose my country, Portugal, PT, and my SSID is already entered. And after that, we need to put the password. So in this field, enter the passphrase for your network, or you can also use Ethernet connection if you prefer. So let's finish this process and reboot our Raspberry Pi board. So we are done, board already booting again. Let's wait until the boot process is complete again. And after that, we will take care of the software. So this setup can start sharing ADSB flight tracking data to the uh, AirNav main servers. I am checking my internet connection, pinging Google. It is okay. Now, we have a script that AirNav also provides at their website. Let me copy the script link. So this is, uh, in fact, a bash uh, script we are downloading and executing at the same time. So let's complete the link apt.rb24.com slash inst underscore rb feeder dot sh the extension for script. As you can see the link is correct, the download is complete and it is already executing all the steps. In fact, we don't have to do anything regarding this script. It is automatic. I don't have 978 uh, MHz here in Portugal, so I will choose no. So now that the uh, install is complete, I will use the main RB feeder application to show that I still don't have a sharing key. I need a new one that will be created for me. Using sudo, I will restart the RB feeder process. And after that, I can show you that I already have a sharing key. Now, let's confirm that the, the system process and service is running, but let me show you another configuration we will need to do. For that, I will show you the configuration file located in slash ATC folder. And this is my serial number, external RPI 20553. With this serial number, I have opened the link so you can check that the unit is already communicating with the server. Let me put my station address so we can tell the servers from where we are sharing data. The location is important in this case. So I have put an address. I am confirming the, it is an exact location. Let's preview it. Correct. Let me put the antenna height above ground 10 meters. And after that, I will save AirNav uh, website reads your house, your location, height above sea level automatically. So after that, as you can see, we, we are still not sharing data. Why? We need to put another uh, command in the command line. So we can tell the software that we are using a local dongle, a local radio receiver. Okay, as you can see, no flights in this uh, list. 
let's go back to the command line and execute another command sudo rb feeder with this option minus minus set minus network minus mode off and minus minus no start so this will tell rb feeder that we don't want it to start manually but we want it to be used locally with a local receiver instead of connecting through the network so let me restart the system so we can start sharing flight tracking data from our station to Airnav's uh, servers. As you can see, we are already consuming a lot of processor. That means we are already sharing data. So I have switched to my browser and you can see that I have already looking at some traffic. Let me zoom out so you can uh, check our data. Of course, our station we will have will have a, a, a small range or a big range depending on the antenna and your location. Because I am uh, near uh, sea level in uh, an area with mountains around me and that uh, is not good if we want to have a very very good range. Um, in terms of numbers we can uh, go through 250 nautic miles in my case usually i go through about 160 70 uh, nautic miles it's uh, it's good it's not excellent but gives you a nice perspective of the amount of uh, air traffic you can uh, grab in with your station so my raspberry pi is collecting data this is a linux uh, with a, a, a nice processing power enough to take care of this kind of um, process with a dongle and a radio. So let's browse a little bit more around this web page so you can uh, see what we can uh, check, we can uh, observe uh, in this uh, website. It is very well built. Uh, it can consume a little bit of processor because of the amount of data being received at all time and uh, all the graphics that are being uh, processed and produced for you uh, in real time. And we are only looking at the data provided by our station because if we switch to the main web page, clicking at the logo, you will see all the traffic worldwide at this moment. So this is live data of the, the traffic and the data you share will be added to the total traffic provided by thousands of stations that are spread worldwide. It's a nice contribution to the network and if you do it, you will have access to an account you can use to check data anytime you want on your web browser and also on your mobile phone or tablet okay so i am zooming in the uh, portuguese west coast area near lisbon the capital so you can uh, see the type of traffic we have here so this is a, a sunday morning traffic typically we have airplanes crossing the ocean we have airplanes uh, traveling to the the islands let's browse here in the other side of the atlantic ocean near uh, new york this is a very big area when i zoom in you will see some more details you can see that we have lots of traffic everywhere but even with uh, these covid uh, pandemics we still have nice traffic to check let me zoom in a little bit more 
and more so you can see what's happening on the ground because we also uh, see aircrafts on the ground let me change the layer so you can have an idea how we can observe the traffic with the different layers about weather about uh, aircraft uh, guidance we have very different layers available in this website special radar modes another different view for those who understand this type of layers they are very nice and provide you very interesting and useful information okay now let me put a little bit more brightness and zoom in to JFK airport you can see some uh, aircraft on the ground in this example if I go here to Newark Airport you can also see aircrafts on the ground for every F aircraft you press you open the details tab where you can see coordinates altitude uh, ground speed uh, the type of reception the station uh, from where the signal was received the age of the aircraft the company okay the airline and so on the origin destination lots of details are provided for every aircraft you you see so you might be asking what's happening uh, inside your raspberry pi with your linux what happens locally is the reception of the the digital uh, data and uh, some uh, previous uh, processing to eliminate uh, errors and duplicate packets and after we are done with that uh, data is ready to be uh, sent to AirNav uh, servers when data is uh, received at the servers is processed again to check for duplicates because as you can imagine we have uh, different stations providing data from the, the the same geographic area so they have to get rid of uh, duplicate packets here you can see an aircraft uh, landing from Madeira Island in the aircraft is landing in Lisbon at this moment it's already on the ground it just arrived this is a, a Portuguese aircraft from from the main uh, Portuguese airline for example this one from Lufthansa traveling from Frankfurt to Tenerife Island a very well-known summer um, holiday destination that belongs to Spain and let me show you here um, some more information you can get from the website you have all these menus with lots of information regarding the stations uh, historic data um, the hardware other types of receivers you can get and some uh, different views for example you can uh, use if you have a special account uh, you have to apply for those uh, conditions see the the plans you have information uh, like this uh, this is what we call uh, airport view airnav provides that kind of information also and uh, it's quite useful if you are uh, trying to uh, focus on a certain air airport very useful also okay so this is it i have shown you how to install uh, the AirNav ADS-B flight stick in a Raspberry Pi using Linux it's very simple to install to configure put it to work 
and a very very nice uh, example of uh, Linux capabilities in this case using these uh, uh, low power uh, boards you can visit uh, www.rb24.com to check all the details about this type of application and uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video I have provided uh, for you regarding this uh, very specific and interesting example okay let me remind you you can subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to get notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing that's it for now thanks again for watching I hope to see you on my next video bye bye guys